Hello everyone, Zimicraft here. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy on Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the Nintendo Switch. This episode, well, I mean last episode, we'll just start with the recap. We did some of Seaslide, did some of Toy Time, but we could bounce it off with a bit of Gold Leaf. Yeah, let's go back to Seaslide. It's fine. Alright, the Silver Stars of Seaslide. Great. Let's get them. So I believe there's like one silver star at each of the major landmarks in general. And this is notable for being like the one sea slide star that does not involve swimming. A whole well, I mean, I guess to get from place to place there's a bit of swimming by necessity, but you know, in general, it's not too much swimming. Also, we've got bees here now, for some reason. Never really noticed how like much power-ups there is in the engine. Like, or really, I guess, maybe more so how little there are in the other places. Like, I mean, how many... Does the fountain even have power-ups? At it? I'm not sure it does. I'm thinking on it now. And I guess... With the uh, freeze flame has quite a few powers, like the fire and ice and stuff. Although those don't really register as much to me because they're the timed type of power up, which to me just kind of come off as lesser than the permanent ones, like the bee and the spring. I will say bee mushroom. Very interesting power-up, like, not really what you'd think of first if you're thinking, like, okay, we've got a space-themed Mario game, what's the new power-up? Got it. Bee Mushroom. Like, I mean, bees don't really have much at all to do with space, generally, so... At least as far as we know. I mean, for all we know, there might be some sort of space-faring alien civilization that highly resembles bees out there, but... Based on our current knowledge, it doesn't seem terribly likely, and... Well, we don't really have any reason to believe that's the case, and in the absence of evidence, we must conclude that there probably isn't a thing. If there is, it's... We don't really have a reason to think that there is. I'm explaining this really terribly. Oh, Launch Star. Where does this go? Back to the center, exactly where I didn't want to be. Wonderful. Alright. Well, we'll go to the tree. These, like, sides of the, like, ocean levels are very interesting. Like, beach balls is some sort of deal. Or just kind of a thing. Just, just like a wall. Although I will say beach balls, I believe, is a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Alright, what do we got here? Probably gonna need a bee mushroom to make major progress. On the tree. I'm not sure if there's one nearby. Hey, B, got any hints and tips on your mushrooms? We honeybees can ride clouds. I know, that's why I'm looking for your mushrooms, but I can't seem to find one. I'll check it around, but there's nothing between the air and the lighthouse. I had nothing between the air and the lighthouse. Okay, um, well, let me take a look at... Yeah, there, there's no bee mushrooms around, unfortunately. Oh well. well. We'll come back to that. For now, that will be at this planet in the center. The centerpiece of Sea Slide. We'll get ourselves some notes of musical variety. Out of my way, crabs. I don't need any crustacean interference in my life at present. All that for a one-up. Not a bad deal, honestly. Oh, thank you. My good old penguin, sir, what's going on? There's all kinds of hubbub in Seaside. What's going on? Oh, oh, hey, out of here, crabs! Kangaroo's place. 
Did it say place of palace? I don't know. Alright, I'm out of here. Too crappy for me. Yeah, I'm here again. Still beatless, which doesn't bode well for my attempted uh, climbing of the tree. Probably gonna have to be our way all the way over from the main area here. And by main area, I mean that be over there. Give me one, thank you. Okay, we can make it. We can fly, like a bee. One. Now we just gotta get from here to the tree, as a bee. Look at me. Uh, you'll see that I can be amazing and get to the tree, as a bee. I knew an old penguin, and he was confused. That doesn't matter to me, because I'm a bee. I'm sliding off the tree, as a bee. That's a me. A Marty. The bee. Soon you'll see that a bee's the way to be on a tree. Look at me. I realize enough of that nonsense. It's terrible rhyming and impromptu slam poetry or whatever. Uh, where is the last one? Is it over there, I think? Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, uh, let's go swimming. I think that's the way to go to get to this last one. Give me the shell. I, I can't pick up a shell as a bee? That is... Uh, I, I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Maybe it's... Uh, profiling. Or discrimination or something. Regardless, it's not something I like to see in my world as a bee. Alright, yeah, there it is, right there, with the spaceship. Definitely want to make sure we've got a good aim on this cannon, because if we die, we'll be starting all over, which would not be the best thing in the world. Okay. Alright. Got it. I believe that star is going to be all the way back at the beginning, which is fine. Thank you, monster. And now, hopefully, we'll find another launch star around here. No? Really, guys? A launch star? Okay, fine. We'll go to that one over there to launch star back to the main platform to get our wonderful star. That seems to me like a good, good. Uh, Outcome, good way to go about our life. Good method to live by. Does this? Yeah, it does bring us over. For a second, I thought it might bring us back to the middle, which would make me upset, but here we are with the bees getting a star, which is what we need. Cool. So that C slide finished up, at least in terms of the main stars of the galaxy. Uh, got a new place in, I think that was the bedroom. I wonder if that mm, pole star is like loaded or something. Okay, let's do Gold Leaf Galaxy now. Seems like a nice galaxy to attempt at this moment in time. While we're still in B mode, 
Star Bunny's on the hunt. On the hunt, you say. What did they all have for again? I think like star chips. So yes, welcome to this galaxy. Or honey hive as I like to call it. Gold leaf. I am looking for blue star chips with my brothers. We haven't found any. Oh, you're related? Oh, good for you. Come out, blue star chips. Yes. We would most certainly like them to come out, wouldn't we? Well, I guess one thing this does have going for it over Honey Hive is, like, you actually have to explore this main planet on this one. Whereas in Honey Hive, you don't. Especially if you're good at the game. Hello. I bet you anything you'll find a blue star chips around here, but join. Yes, most certainly will, but can we get them? Yes, we can. Don't even need any, like, nonsense of uh, little launch stars or anything. By launch stars, I mean sling the stars. Yeah, there we go. So you didn't need it. I think we go to the waterfall next. These waterfalls are fun. I can smell the star chip, boing. Oh, wow. What a nose you got there, little star bunny. What have we here? A cool. Very cool. How you doing, B? That Starbody seems to be looking for something. I'd say that would in most likely scenarios be the case. And this is indeed that most likely scenario. Oh, I got a nice little thing to get over the, uh... Slatty... Surface? Oh, Starbots. Nice. Hey dudes, dudes, I'm just peacefully stealing all your star bits. No reason for you to attack. Let's be a bee. Alright, what do you got here? Like you trying to fly and ground pound and stuff? Good, good for you, buddy. Ah, star It's over here, boyoing. Hmm. I'm not... Oh, there it is. Gonna doubt you, Star Bunny, but you were right. You were right, my my bunny friend. Oh wow, look at all these Star Bits. And then I could like jump on this guy and get even more Star Bits. Sorry, really. It was just the way it was gonna be, unfortunately. We do a bit of flight over here. Hey Star Bunny! I know you've got something for me over there. Let me let me come here. Where's the star chip, boyoing? Right there, boyoing. Oh, they're the launch star right there the whole time. Ain't that something? Well, star bunnies, it's been a pleasure hunting with y'all, but I've got to go. You found them all, boyoing? Yes, I did. What do you have to say about that? Come on, let's go home. Oh, go home? Aw, oh, I didn't even realize this, like, little mini-narrative going on here. This swing is pretty much the funnest thing ever. I'll have to, uh, test that theory myself. Oh, because that was pretty fun. I, I do have to admit. Funnest ever! Eh, difference of opinion, I suppose. I'm not gonna say you're wrong, I'm not gonna say you're right either. Hey, Star Bunny. Thanks, now I can go home! In return, let me tell you a secret. In that planet over there, my Star Bunny brother has a power star. But he's the fastest of all. You think you can catch him, boy? I uh, think? I know I can catch him. Yeah, I didn't even realize it was like a. That's so cute! Like, th th they were looking for the star chip so they could go home. To this planet. Think you can catch me, Boyoing? I've got so, so much feels for the Star Bunnies, honestly. Pretty cool. 
I think there's like a switch you can like make walls with or something. With this thing. Ah yes, you're cornered! By cornered I mean you just pick the different routes. Gotcha! Boing, you got me! Alright then, take this! Don't mind if I do. Don't expect to catch me so easily next time. Yeah, yeah. There won't be a next time, buddy. I just need to find the star now. This question marks? Huh. That is very interesting. Ice question mark blocks. Huh. There it is. We missed. Got a star. Galaxy, well done, got a star. Increase the starboard counts. Saving the game. Because who would you be if you beat the game but didn't save it? And back to gold. Is this going to be the Cataquack level? I kind of hope so. I like the Cataquacks. They're very. Really, I, I like them. They're very nice. Yes, Cataquack to the skies. Oh, this is a nightmare is the No Starboard Challenge. Luckily, we're not doing a No Starboard Challenge, so it'll be just a nice, peaceful experience with the Catapax. Give me the Starboards! Didn't get any Starboards on my first time in. My pet Catapax chucks me into the air whenever I want. Whee! Huh. Well then. That's why you don't try to cut in line, kids. <laughs> this, the boulders will get you. Thank you, little dude. Your contributions to life, liberty, and the pursuit of Mario are invaluable. All right, we're gonna get ourselves some star bits, huh? Everybody was star bit fun. Well, that was a disappointingly short-lived uh, boon. Cataquack, help me! Thank you. Now over here, got even more Cataquacks around. Hey dudes, guys, Cataquacks. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you! Uh, actually, I needed to be more over here. Drats. Come on, come on. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Got this guy to launch me up over there. Which actually might be kind of tough to make it happen. Oh, nope, never mind. No be necessary. Very nice. I just walk along here. And now we've got ourselves a launch. I do kind of wonder if this planet was designed for Honey Hive or Gold Leaf first. Because on the one hand, Honey Hive is chron chronologically first in the game, so it kind of makes sense in that respect, but also, like... I, I just feel like there's a lot more going on in Gold Leaf Galaxy, and, like, the altered roots and stuff are actually, like, utilized, which kind of makes me think it must have been Gold Leaf's planet. That or maybe they just had a bunch of nooks and crannies that they didn't use in Honey Hive and like, ah, we use it in Gold Leaf. That's cool. And this, I believe, is actually a recreation of the, uh... Hedge Maze Planet, albeit a bit smaller, from Gusty Garden Galaxy, I think. Maybe not. It might just be kind of similar looking, honestly. Either way, it's pretty cool. Oh, sorry, little Cataquack, I didn't mean to destroy you and your life. Oh, we don't go to be over here. It might just be, like, thematically similar, though, honestly. Oh, thank you, Goomba. Give me your coin. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Okay, looking at it now, I don't think this is flat-out recreation, but it is definitely, like, thematically similar. Could 
be wrong, though. I've been wrong in the past. Some of these sides are quite familiar, but... I don't know. Probably just coincidence, any similarities. Alright, now this planet is a doozy. As I recall. Hey. I'm draw. I'm walking here! Somehow didn't get launched like at all from that, but okay. No, no, not this way. Over here. No, Cataquack. Cataquack. Cataquack! Please. My Cataquack, come over this way. To the tip. There we go. Oh, give me that star. Yeah, I missed it. And like, yeah, that's not gonna work. All right. To be a city. Now, I do think there is technically a way to get that one without being a bee, but, like... I haven't personally done that method before, so... I think I'll just not. Since uh, we don't have time for me to waste that much time just being not a bee. Come here, Cataquack. Don't let the mole hold you back. Let's go. Out of here, you mole. No, Cataquack, come back. I need you. You're my favorite pet. And I need to be a bee. Ah, uh, I didn't quite make it. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. I didn't expect you to... You get back over here. No. And I woke them all. And things are just falling apart. Alright, be me. Hey, I need to be a bee, Cataquack. Help me. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Alright, now come over this way. Your services are required over yonder. Wonderful. And now we just go and get the star, no problem. Very easy, very simple. I'd wear these flowers, but you know, all is well. Giant orbiting, well not really even orbiting, they're just kind of in place. Orbiting kind of denotes like, some spinning and rotation, doesn't it? Forty-fourth star of the game. Not bad. We only need one more to unlock the uh, next Bowser Jr. level. Which is going to happen next episode. Until then, I've been Supercraft and I'll catch you in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Goodbye.